the final of the FA Cup, Arsenal versus Chelsea with our commentators Danny Murphy and Guy Mowbray. Thank you, Gary. Good afternoon, everyone. We're all set for the 136th FA Cup final. The cup keeper, David Ospina, plays instead of Petr Cech. Per Mertesacker captains the Gunners in his first start all season. If his experience will help, Rob Holding could be the lucky charm. Arsenal have won the last 11 games he's played in. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain is back after missing the last three with a hamstring injury. And Danny Welbeck has been preferred to Olivier Giroud in attack. The Chelsea side is one you could probably recite. Thibaut Courtois in goal behind the usual back three. David Luiz and Gary Cahill making up for missing Chelsea's last cup final appearance through injury five years ago. Nemanja Matic was an unused sub in Chelsea's 2010 success. Today he gets the nod over Cesc Fabregas. And it is a forward three that scored 51 goals between them this season. Is it goodbye and farewell forever to John Terry? And if he could come on to shore up Chelsea's back line, there isn't a single defender amongst the Arsenal substitutes. To get the action underway, the first kick of the ball is Diego Costas, who's in quickly once more. And Sanchez is in to score. The flag is up, though. The oh, flag no. up against it's a goal. Aaron Ramsey. It's a goal. He's not offside, Alex. Well, Ramsey didn't get involved because he realised going to be a goal and Anthony Taylor is going to go across and have a word with Gary Pesic the assistant referee my I don't think you can blame Gary Pesic for no. that and it is 1-0 to Arsenal inside five minutes Alexis Sanchez amazing Wembley record goes on five goals in five appearances here for Arsenal he scored and another bit of drama now with Diego Costa, perhaps unsurprisingly, getting involved. It's a foul from Holding, he's got all of his shirt, he's taken him over, if you just watch Costa. Swings into the right leg, nothing Swing of the leg, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, but... Don't need to do it, we got away with that, nothing. Chelsea free kick, Azar puts it in and it's headed over the top. Pedro, excellent run with the ball. He got away from the first attempt to stop him which was an unfair one he couldn't get past the second and there is going to be a yellow card for Ramsey Sanchez and he's wound up the big one now Courtois knew it was always going to be too high there were quite a few in the Arsenal end who were getting off their seats ready to celebrate another superb play again from Sanchez hell of a strike Fraction high. Alexis Sanchez, and he's got the ball through. What a chance for 2 0. And it's cleared off the line by Cahill to thwart Mesut Ozil. Bad touch. Bad, bad touch. Took away the chance. What a huge chance for Ozil. Robert rises. It's off the post. And somehow it bounces off Ramsey and goes behind. Another chance. They're wondering what happened at the other end of the ground. That's good ball in. Well back, good head. Kante, Matic, manages to get through. Diego Costa, there's Mertesacker's long legs to Pedro. Looking for Diego Costa. And Diego Costa got in, it's a good save by Ospina. Diego Costa have got the better of Rob Holding, and it was Ospina who came out to block it. There's Hurd. Welbeck's got it now. They are in. It's come to Welbeck, and Courtois stops him. Through to Sanchez. Welbeck's just keeping out of it, and there's a slip from Welbeck, so Sanchez... Oh, so they should. Hazard. Pedro! Oh. He's put everything into it when he perhaps didn't need to. Subtlety was the key. And he went for the sizzler. The sizzler. Marcus Alonso strikes, but it's always too high. It was never coming down. What a second half we should have for you at Wembley. At half-time, it is Arsenal 1, Chelsea 0. Trying to leave Monreal behind. Hazard in, Diego Costa and Per Mertesacker. If Costa Holden's got to be careful, there's Kante. Oh, and Ospina holds it, well, just about. Diego 
Costa will come back again. Monreal is not going anywhere. Diego Costa sees the whistle or hears the whistle go against him. And Diego Costa did well to hold it. Here's Victor Moses. Parried clear by a spinner and Mertesacker gets it further away. The two men we talked about are spinner and Mertesacker. Keeps his feet brilliantly. Diego Costa doesn't keep his under challenge from holding. Chelsea free kick. And it's going to be a card for Rob Holding. It looks a foul. Moses finds Pedro in space. Pedro's shot oh. is wide. It's because Ramsey was still running back. Well back. Well back does brilliantly and is rather crudely taken out by Victor Moses. That will be a booking. Ramsey just too quick for him. It's not booking, is it? Come on. Well back with Ozil charging down the middle. Oxlade Chamberlain there too. And coming in is Bayerin. Oh, that's a cheers from Chelsea supporters and quite the opposite from the Arsenal fans who used to cheer his name. To Moses. Lifting one across to Pedro. And the shot is wide. Moses. Moses down. Anthony Taylor had a really good look and waves Arsenal's way and may well give a yellow card. He will to Victor Moses, and that means his FA Cup final is over. What a big decision that is from the referee. Back, back. Chelsea down to 10. When some of their supporters were thinking they were about to have a pen. Diego Costa takes it down, and Diego Costa levels for Chelsea. The champions are giving it their everything with the 10 man. Arsenal won, Chelsea won. I think it's an error, isn't it? It's a good move in the FA Cup final. There's Giroud pulling it back. Arsenal in front once more. Aaron Ramsey scores for the Gunners. Chelsea's reprieve is so short lived, they'd barely finish the celebrations. Unusual position. Oxley Chamberlain thought he was terrific. Brilliant. David Luiz couldn't quite get the direction. Oh, done it. Pokes it past David Luiz. Oh, it was nearly one of the great FA Cup final goals. Ozil out to Ramsey. Ramsey through to Mohamed El Nani. Oh, what's she doing? El Nani checks back. That was for the cup. But it is Arsenal's FA Cup anyway. A small smile on the face of Arsene Wenger. A sporting handshake from the manager of the champions, Antonio Conte. But Arsenal have saved one of their best performances of the entire season until last, against all odds. Per Mertesacker is once again an FA Cup winning captain. Stan Kroenke is the owner of an FA Cup winning team. After all the trials and tribulations that we've seen and heard about Arsenal Football Club all season long, when it really mattered at the very end, the Gunners had something left in their armoury. For Arsene Wenger, it is an outright record. Seventh FA Cup triumph as a manager. He beats the record of George Ramsey, the Aston Villa secretary from 1884. That record has stood for so long, but now it's Arsene Wenger's. And overall, Arsenal are at the top of the FA Cup tree with 13 successes in the world's oldest and greatest cup competition. And Danny, a final word from you. From the very early stages, it was apparent that this could well be Arsenal's day. Well, it was a pleasure to be here and witness a, a huge shock in many ways. And I know we've mentioned a lot of individuals, but team performance today which we've not said too often about this Arsenal team a really good team performance every one of them working for each other for 90 minutes
No Chelsea double, just Arsenal delight. Arsenal 2, Chelsea 1. Van Mertesacker is an FA Cup winning captain. A game for Arsenal. His is the FA Cup story of the day in many ways. And His Royal Highness, the Duke of Cambridge, will pass the cup to Lauren Koscielny, the regular captain, and Per Mertesacker. The oldest cup competition in the world. No team has won it more than Arsenal. For a record 13th time, Arsenal, FA Cup winners.